<clears throat> Greetings, it is August 16th, 2019. I have uh, two drawings I did when I was a senior in high school. This is for an art, art class. Inexplic inexplicably to me now, over 50 years later, they're both numbered number 14. Well, for whatever reason, um, maybe there were supposed to be several or two or more examples of each of a number of different subjects. That's a wild guess. Uh, who knows? Not me. The one on the left is uh, dated April 25th, 68. The one on the right, May 1st, 68. Now, a few years later, I started uh, college as an art major at uh, age uh, 22, just a few couple of months before I turned 23, and have been a working artist all these years since. My assessment of these is that the one on the left is really weak in terms of everything, especially in comparison to the other one. Like his legs are uh, actually the legs are okay individually but the shoe and foot is like way too small for the size of the calf and ankle area same thing with this one this should be longer this one should be extended further out the uh, area around his uh, groin, lower and upper torso, arms all look, I was going to say stilted, that's probably not a good term, but it will work. In fact, <laughs> looking at this now, this arm, well this is really cockamamie, that's an old like kind of northeast New Yorkish kind of a term, I think it's English. There's a uh, like, why is this like that? Doesn't make any sense. That part of the arm should be kind of upper, upper arm should be coming into the shoulder there, as opposed to this, it's, it's kind of really warped looking. His hands bring to mind something that might have been uh, in the, uh, was it 1940s or 1950s, classic black and white kind of horror film, The Creature from the Black Lagoon. They do not look human. <laughs> That's interesting. On, the, on his left hand and viewer's right, all of the uh, fingers are just about kind of equally long and kind of pointed. And the four that we see here are also kind of non-human. He uh, has no uh, neck. Kind of brings to mind, I think it was the is it the character Frank in the MASH TV series? Well, they always, the other characters like to say he has no neck or no lips or both. His head is also way too small in comparison to the size of his uh, upper torso. His head should be like that. Anyway, now going into the color one here, this, this is much more successful to me. I'm guessing, and I've said this to myself, I don't know, once every couple of decades when I come across it amongst my stuff dating back that far in my life, I might have probably drew this from a uh, magazine photo. It's a, it's a good guess, a reasonable guess. The, um, as compared to this one, everything here looks to be in much better perspective. The, 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 uh, the uh, feet with the uh, running shoes, sneakers as they call them in, in New York, um, are, look to be the right size. The calves, uh, thighs, uh, groin, uh, stomach, upper torso, shoulder, arms, everything is in a good, uh, good proportion. If I was to come up with just one fault, I'd say perhaps the head 
could have been a little bit higher, uh, like ending further up. Looks like must have been must have been wearing some sort of helmet. Anyway, there you have it. And uh, just a comparison to see. I'll walk over to look at one of my uh, drawings here from more recent years. What have we got? Well, we have some works that are very abstract. Uh, there's a drawing from the Under the Wings uh, art series on victims of the Holocaust and of fascism in Europe, 1930s to 45. And here's a, uh, another drawing from that series, drawn from a photo. So, hey. hey. Magazine photo, 1968, of a basketball player. This is drawn from a, a photo of a, a child in a room in the uh, Warsaw Ghetto concentration death camp in Nazi-occupied Poland. So the photo was probably taken in 1941 or 42. All right, there you have it. My great-grandmother, Zlata Barshevsky, murdered by the Nazis, as was her son, Liebel, who lived in Berlin, my uh, maternal grandfather, one of, one of the brothers of my maternal grandfather. All right, there you have it. Here's uh, my late Uncle Sam in a uh, self-portrait, two-sided self-portrait he sent me. He's long deceased. Um, nice self-portrait, watercolor. I had it... Uh, um, I mounted it like in this uh, plastic sleeve for protection. Or oh, three, three self-portraits. All right, say two.